God, my back is like killing me. Uh, I don't know if I, I don't know why I always put my hair like this whenever I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. And I'm probably going to leave here within an hour or so. I'm currently uploading the video that I just did, but I was changing. I'm still sipping on this because it's just bad. I don't want to waste it though. Of course, that's the reason why I'm drinking it. Uh, I don't, Lord. Um, I was trying to think of goofy shit to talk about, but every time I stop doing a video, I always turn on music with my speaker and then I'll get ready. And how come I love to dance, like just being goofy or whatever around the house, every time I do anything, it's like I'm banned from dancing. Like I'll start to dance and I'll fucking slap my hand against a sharp object or I'll trip or slip on something or as soon as I'll start dancing, like somebody revs their engine outside and it scares the hell out of me. So I'm like putting on the moves and then I, it's so aggravating. Like, I'm just like, can I just be free? But, uh, then half the time, whenever I start to do a video, I don't know what the fuck, man, I'm getting anxiety in my fucking back. Dude, I read an article. What was it? This guy like popped his neck and it caused him to have a, um, was it a seizure or something? So now every time I go to like crack my neck, I get terrified. Oh, I'm falling apart. Like Rasputin, Anastasia. Um, but I guess I just thought about like funny lap dance stories and I guarantee, oh, it's like right there. That's strange. Hopefully it's, I should pause this, right? Cause I'm sure this is fun. Um, I know for a fact I did a video on this and I have no idea which house I was in, if I was at the apartment or what. I think it's called Embarrassing Lap Dance Stories, and I was legit about to title this, and I was like, bitch, you've already done that. But I'm sure a lot of people haven't um, watched it. And uh, I also, I'm going to sneeze. The most <coughs> annoying fucking video so far. But I only, I don't only get awkward because Matt watches these every once in a while, not very often. But I know other people in my life, like for some reason, um, all the drama that gets brought to me, um, other people watch my videos who like don't even know me and this is like a very aggressive way to get to know somebody I suppose because I talk about the most fucked up shit and I didn't think about it because I just did that video on like you know feet and underwear and everything I'm like oh god I don't know who the fuck watches my videos anymore but one of the funniest lap dance stories is I swear to god back in the day whenever like when I was like 16 17 I was a fucking weirdo and I would we'd be at the park and I would always dance to that song freaky girl on the park bench table everywhere like I was always that bitch at a party just wanting to fucking dance and there was a house that I used to go to and I don't want to be crass because I live in a white trash town so I'm very not exempt from that but there was a place I used to go to and the house was just fucking gross like not clean I mean every piece of furniture was mismatched there was like fold out chairs you know instead of real chairs dirty ass dishes the floor was like brown even though it should have been white because that's the color of the tile you know what I mean just nasty like bugs and uh but these bitches that used to go there all they wanted to do was dance like my legs I'm telling you would be sore as fuck because we would just be dancing and basically it was a house you could go to when you were a teenager that they partied like some of them were older so they could buy alcohol and I remember this in particular a couple of my friends that I didn't know were going to be there were there and it was somebody's birthday, some kid's birthday, and they were having a lap dance competition, right? And I'm drunk at this point. Back then, I didn't drink beer. I drank hard alcohol, which is great for a 16-year-old to do um, at a party full of older people. But um, that sounded fucked up. But Anyway. So it was these three girls and we were doing a competition of like who gave the best lap dance and it was a song Birthday Sex by Jeremiah, which again, great song for a 16 year old to be dancing to drunk at a party that, you know, I shouldn't be there. Um, but it, I was just dying laughing because I fell so many times. Like we're on a wooden chair on a linoleum kitchen floor and I'm swinging my legs left and right. I'm like bending over. Every time I bent over though, I fell forward. Uh, because obviously the kitchen and living room are connected, but there's carpet in the living room. So I bent forward. I fucking flew forward into the living room where all these people are. It was humiliating. I didn't give a shit. I just jumped the fuck up. I was such a weirdo. I mean, I have endless, endless stories that I could tell about that. And I am so grateful that I, I still have that 
in my and it's so strange because it, shouldn't that be stories of like oh you're 25 and you're being weird I guess not not from where I grew up I mean I literally grew up to where I've told you guys Fridays after school or we go to our house and get ready you know change our clothes meet up at the park and wait for our local hobo to show up around 4 35 o'clock on the dot every Friday and buy us alcohol like that was what I gr grew up doing <laughs> Which everybody that I talk to now from back in the day, we, we still just laugh about it. Uh, you know, he was the nicest guy ever. I'm not going to say anything mean about him. He was an absolute sweetheart. Um, but he was like, he's a hobo. Come on, give you know, give, cut him some slack. But most of my childhood was spent, or I say my childhood like I was 10. Always in parks, always getting drunk. Um, which I'm grateful for because uh, for the majority of that, my life is very mundane and boring and it was just fun. It's fun to look back on those memories and be like, holy shit, what the fuck? To me, like, I, I never was in danger. I mean, maybe I was. I was never by myself. I was always with a big group of people. But I love having friends like that and looking back on those memories. Like, I, I'm just, I, I'm not the person to be like, oh my god, do you remember, remember when Becky dared me to wear that heinous yellow shirt in high school? I'm like, no, remember the time I got butt naked in the park and fucking play tag or something this is ridiculous ass stupid shit like that but no I hated that like I like the the quirky popular girls in high school that thought they were so funny like they'd they'd be like oh my god don't tell me you're wearing that or they'd try to dress as slutty as possible and be like mm -hmm. what, what is it gonna be so embarrassing when I wear this to school and all the boys are gonna mm -hmm. it was so weird because in eighth seventh or eighth grade I remember like one of the popular girls see me and all my friends we were just like super Ooh, I'm so sorry. That was nasty. Like, scene, and we'd have, like, the crazy color hair, and we'd always have the craziest, like, all my profile pictures were me doing this. Like, you know how people would do, like, the raw thing? My lip was always, like, I had the Elvis lip. I don't know why. And everybody loved it because we were just, like, stupid. This girl posted a picture on MySpace, and everybody had a MySpace. It, like, her and her boyfriend, the caption clearly alluded to them. They had just fucked. And she was wearing nothing but her bra, and her boobs were squished. You could probably see half a nipple. And she's like straddling him and then she takes a picture. We're in eighth grade, seventh, seventh grade. And then she uploads this to her MySpace and I'm just like, ew, like that. I'm like, wow, aren't you fucking special? Um, I don't know. Back in, people talked about in high school, they'd be like, don't believe everybody. They're not having sex. They weren't having sex in high school. They were all fucking in junior high. It was so weird. Like even some of my friends and I hung out with like the, the nerds by far and that's just like I was kind of friends with a little bit of everybody um I can't say there was a popular crowd but that pretty much entailed like money you know they all had money Hollister Abercrombie they were annoying as fuck like they were not fun to hang out with they were not funny at all um I have to wipe a couple snots sorry um and then there was like you know the huge huge nerds and then kind of like the middle people and uh, I don't know where I was going with that. I lost my complete train of thought. But my favorite thing that we used to do, we used to fuck with um, popular people. We'd get on MySpace and we would steal people's profile pictures and then we'd make them our profile picture and we would change our names. So say somebody's name was like Lexi Smith. I would take her profile picture, make that my profile picture and change my name to Lexi Smith and then we'd message people. Because as soon as you get like a message or a comment on MySpace, you just see that person's name and face. You don't see their whole profile. And sometimes we would go, we would do this to our friends, not other people per se, because that's creepy. We would change our background to the same background they had. So if you clicked on there, like, that's not really them. Bitch, we changed our whole profiles. That was, we used to fuck a lot with people, even amongst us, like me and my two, like my best friend now, and we had a third girl that we used to hang out with all the time. We would change our profile pictures um, to each other's or something like that and then we'd message like the hot guy in school and be like me you seven o'clock Friday night or something ridiculous and they never fucking responded because nobody can take a goddamn joke but that was like the goofy shit that we did back in the day or we'd make like box forts or you know stuff like that I mean it was still little kid shit I mean I think everybody gets into that there's always that one or two girls that you're friends with that when you go to their house their parents don't give a shit you know what I mean like Honey, if you're going to drink, I'd rather you do it in the house. You know what I mean? Like, which I can't say if I'd be that type of parent. Probably not because um, if your kid can't handle their alcohol, that's going to be on me. So don't send your bitch ass kids over to my house if they can't handle their alcohol. But 
Her mom would never, she wasn't like gung-ho about it, but she definitely did buy her daughter um, cigarettes, or I think that's when I started smoking. I'm not really sure. That's probably why, because I just was around a lot of bad influences. But um, I know her mom used to buy her cigarettes, and I think she would buy her alcohol. But we always had different people to do it, or she did. She was a year older than us. But if her mom saw, like, a fifth of UV blue, I'm pretty sure that's what she used to buy her all the time. Um, I don't know. That's kind of, like, fucked up to me. And she kind of had to beg her mom to do it. I was friends with this kid. Me and my girlfriend went over to his house at 7 o'clock in the morning because we had been hanging out the night pr prior. But, you know, I have to be home at, like, 9 o'clock. It's summer. Um, back in the day, I was 13. Okay, so this kid was also... 13 or maybe 14 we got up super early because they're like oh let's hang out like it was a group of guys uh, from our junior high class and we're like okay get there at seven o'clock and i mean i can't stress this enough and um we were all sitting up in his room and he was yelling to his mom he's like mom go get us go get us vodka go get us vodka and she's like god damn it it's seven in the morning not right now so we had to wait till noon i'm not saying that to be like we had to wait i'm saying like she bought it for us but she's like give it kids don't get smashed until noon this bitch doesn't buy a fifth. She buys a gallon and all of us a polar pop. And it was so funny. Just like, and she also was like such a sweetheart. Obviously such a bad thing. A gallon of vodka for, for six hormonal 13 year olds. Are you crazy? That's the first time I ever got drunk. And boys will be boys. Like they kept trying to do stuff. And I'm like, no, no, no. So me and my girlfriend went downstairs and her mom sat us in a recliner. Like, there was this big, double, like, wide recliner. We both sat and laid back, and she fed us Sprite and crackers until we felt better. And I don't, like, I don't know if it's, like, what kind of parenting. I really don't understand why that was a thing. I mean, I could literally go on four hours about the fucked upiness. And I think that was really the only two parents that I can remember that did that, that bought alcohol for their kids. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, my dad bought me alcohol, but, um, to be fair, half the time he didn't realize he was doing it because we go grocery shopping and I would just put like a, I'd get like Mike's hard or I'd, I'd always sneak this on the conveyor belt. I'm not even going to front. I tried to be like coy about it. I didn't. And whenever he would catch me, he'd make a scene in front of the cashier and it was so embarrassing. Um, if he was in a bad mood, sometimes he would just laugh and be like, Ugh. And, like, take it from me whenever we got home. And sometimes he would just let me have it. I do remember a particular. Um, but he didn't do it to, like, give it to my friends. You know what I mean? My dad was also very, very old, you guys. But um, it was New Year's. And my dad, ugh, I miss him so much. I had the biggest cry fest the other night with Matthew. I was sobbing. Like, I miss this man so fucking much. It is unbelievable. But sobbing. Like, I think I made a video the next day and I told you guys my eyes were kind of swollen. I was up, I probably cried for three hours straight and I don't, just uncontrollably, but, um, it was New Year's and we went to, he took us to the grocery store and he, we got like a shrimp platter, a shrimp platter and cheese and all this stuff. And it was so much fun. And then my girlfriend, they weren't really big drinkers. I was more of like a hard alcohol drinker back then. That sounds so bad, but they wanted the variety pack they wanted Mike's hard lemonade and a variety pack of Smirnoff. I can't drink that. I never have. I still can't. I don't know why. I, I guess it's just like the sugars in it. But we got it and then we got home and we were taking the groceries out. My dad saw, because really on the outside, it just looks like soda. But he started laughing. He goes, what is this shit? And I was like, Mike started lemonade and smearing off. And he just laughs and he turns around and he goes, pussies. And I thought that was the funniest thing in the fucking world. And so did my friends. I didn't drink any of that. I think my girlfriend had like a, a fifth of captain or something. And we got toe the fuck up. That story of that night, I will never reveal. Well, I probably will. But um, yeah, I probably will. But not tonight. Because it involves an accidental foursome, threesome, that I don't even know how to begin to explain. But I know I'm just fucking nuts and ridiculous, but I kind of wanted to vent about, not vent, but you know, talk about something other than um, Chalupa Barbie and Trisha. And uh, I'm going to get dressed because I've been talking for long enough and I hopefully we win the hockey game tonight. I love you guys and thank you for listening to my fucked up stories. Bye.